In math lesson seven, we learn how to add two digit numbers. So let's take a look at an example from the book. <clears throat> so we have a word problem, and we're going to read through this and make note of what we see and decide what needs to happen. So it says before lunch, Maria read 38 minutes. After lunch, she read for 45 minutes. How many total minutes did Maria read? So if I go back through this and think about it, we obviously know it's about her reading. And it says how many total minutes. We're looking for the total, which usually lets us know that we're going to probably combine or add together what's in the problem. So we have the 38 minutes she read before lunch and the 45 minutes she read after lunch. And this is going to be a addition problem. So when I look at it, the first thing that they show us how to do in the book is to use our base 10 blocks to help us break apart the tens and the ones. And all of our strategies we use, use that tens and ones idea, or what we call place value. So in our picture, we have three tens and eight ones to represent 38. And we have four tens and five ones to represent 45. And so what we can do is we can combine all the tens. So four tens and three tens gives us seven tens that we have right here. And we put together our ones. Well, eight ones and five ones is actually 13 ones. But we know that we can't have more than one digit in the ones place. So when we have those 13, this group of 10 we're going to put together to make another 10. So I would trade that in for another 10s rod. So that would be 80 instead of the 7. We would now have 80 or 8 groups of 10 and the 3 ones that are left over. So our answer would be 83. Now, if you're doing a test or something, you might not have your base 10 blocks ready right there available. But what you can do is you can do a quick draw. And so my quick draw is exactly the same thing that I did with the base 10 blocks, except for the um, straight lines represent the 10s and the little dots represent the 1s. But you'll see it looks exactly the same, all right, but just the quick draw. And we'll do the same thing. We think about that same group of 10 right here becoming an additional 10 rod for a total of 80 and those three that are left over. We also can look at it in the digits, okay, in numerical form, breaking apart the 38. So we put that in expanded form, again, by place value. So we have a group of 30 and 8 and a group of 40 and 5. And so same thing we did here with the blocks or the picture. We're adding together the groups of 10s. So 40 and 30 makes 70 or 7 groups of 10. 8 and 5, again, makes 13, but we know we can only have one digit in the ones place. So that group of 10 is going to come over here and again make it now 80 or 8 groups of 10 with that 3 left over. So we get the same answer on all three of those models. I'm also going to show it to you again on the open number line. Again, that's a strategy we use a lot in second grade. So let's go down here and we're going to start with the number we have first in our problem and that would be 38. And I know that I have to add 45 to that. So I could do that a couple of different ways. But probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on, um, jump ahead by 10. So that would be 48, 58, 68, 78. And so for each one of those, I'm doing a jump of 10. So I'm adding 10 each time. And so again, where did we end up at? We ended up at 78. Okay, and I didn't label each jump, but I did count them off as I jumped. Okay, so 48, 58, 68, 78. But that's just jumping the 40. All right, we still have to jump the five ones. So I could jump a jump of two because I know that 78 plus two gets me the, the next group of 10, which would be 80. But I've only jumped two of the five, so I've got to jump 
three more. I can do three little jumps if I want with each one of them being one to bring me up to that total of 83. All right. It could be that when you got to the 78, you needed to jump the five individually, and that would also be fine. All right. But remember, when it comes down to two digit numbers, we want to think about the groups of 10. So, like we had here with our digits, or what we had here with our blocks or drawings, and then we separate the ones. All right. But it's important to remember that if you have more than one digit in the ones place, if we end up with a group of 10, that group of 10 needs to be traded in for another tens rod or another stick or another group of 10.